Welcome to the 50th Annual Mudbox Festival. I remember it like it was yesterday. I always thought Mudbox were a strange thing to have a festival for, but it's what put this sleepy little town on the map. Now some of you guys may be thinking, what in the world is a mud bug? Well, it's a crayfish, which is a freshwater crustacean. Just one of many wonderful creatures here in Bella's Stout, deep in the heart of Louisiana, surrounded by the swamp. Some say there's a legend about the swamp that has been passed down from generations. I bet you guys want to know what it is, don't you? Well, keep an eye on that Charlie kid. He might just be onto something. Please stop chasing me. I done told you a thousand and one times, Charlie Bagel, I do not like mud bugs. You come to the 50th annual mud bug festival and you don't like mud bugs? Now tell me what that makes any sense. And I done told you 102 times, my name is Charlie Daigle. Daigle, and all this time I thought it was Charlie Bagel. Why, you little... Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Kids. You know, he's kind of got a point though, Bobette. Liking mud bugs is basically a birthright in this town. Maybe in your family, but not in mine. I get it, girl. I don't care for them either. Slime or little things. Oh, yeah. This is my little sister, Zula. Of course, you already know Charlie. And this is Bobette. Bobette Ledette, pleasure to meet ya. Nice to have another girl around today. Is your dad out catching mud bugs? Yes, sir. First day of the festival, my dad's out catching a feast for the whole town. Meanwhile, I'm stuck with babysitting duty. Well, I'm he says that, though, he is a much bigger baby than me. Watch this. Oh my goodness, it's a giant creature! <laughs> <laughs> Not funny, Zula. Actually, that was pretty funny. I like you. Wait. Zula, do you believe in the Swamp Legend? I mean, not really, but I have seen some of those weird conspiracy videos just simply inside. Well, I, I told you those were top secret, Montgomery! Attention, attention! I'm... Hello to the citizens of Bellastown, and welcome all guests from near and far. We're thrilled y'all could make it to the 50th Annual Mud Bug Festival. As your mayor for 25 years, and running, I'm over the moon to kick off the festivities with our town anthem. But first, a word from the Bellastown State. Bellis Dow was founded by my great 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 grandfather Amos Moses Dow, a brave explorer and a true gentleman. His vision of the town was sophistication and class, and I feel that was the mayor commission to change the name of the Mudbird Festival to reflect more elegance and luxury. The Freshwater Lobster Festival of Bellis Dow. You're speaking. It's me. I So, yay, nay. What do you think? All in favor of the change? Say yay! All opposed? Say nay. Nay! nay. What a fun festival it is. Please welcome to the podium our highly respectable Sheriff Harrison Landry to kick off the festivities. Welcome to the town of Bellisdale. You've come to the right place if you're looking for a swell time. Here at the festival, everybody sings. La di da di Hey, 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 we celebrate the day that the Lord has made, for he is our creator. Stop. 
that twice. Oh my goodness, what is that? It's a swamp pigeon. <laughs> 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 Everyone settle down. I'll make sure that I track this creature down and it never sets its slimy feet in our town ever again. The festival will continue our schedule. Thank you, Sheriff Landry. In fact, it's time to get ready for our Mud Bug Pop Pie Contest. All right, you heard him, folks. Don't you even worry about the slimy old fella. It's time to get ready for the contest. Where my pot pie does nothing to see here except for pot pies. Ain't that right, Mary? Do you think the sheriff will actually be able to catch that thing? What was it anyway? You were closest to it. A warm gator? A Bigfoot? It was a swamp creature, obviously. I can't believe this is actually happening. You know, I might actually be starting to believe you. Or it was just some weird kid in a costume playing a prank on us. A costume? No. I always told you guys that the swamp creature was real. You never believe me. I don't see anything very much. And just what legend are you referring to? Only the greatest legend in this entire Louisiana bayou. Listen. They say anyone who leaves the swamp comes back as a swamp creature. No one ever crosses the other side of the swamp and back without becoming a swamp creature. Ugh, wow, you sound just like those guys on videos you watch. Uh, it sounds insane and unbelievable. Charlie Bagel, you listen here. Montgomery, what does your dad say when he before he takes us out to his floor? Don't go in too deep. Keep the swamp below your knees. See? Why would he tell us that if there wasn't a real swamp creature level danger out there? He also says, boys, for goodness sake, take the boat off this time. But did they listen to that? No? Well, Sheriff Landry is going to need some help. And he doesn't know the swamp like we do, Levi. We need to step up and protect our town from this menace. Are you serious? Ain't no way I'm going out there in all the mud and mosquitoes just to find some creature that's probably dangerous. That's why we have a sheriff. Isn't that his job? Yeah, we have a better chance of finding the hit than sheriff and what? This ass. I know the bio like the back of my hand. I can track for you too. It's true. She can. Great. I'll pack up my swamp creature survival kit. We can be on our way in 20 minutes. And the trail will still be fresh. You guys in? I'm in. Sounds a lot more interesting than some weird pot pie contest thing, but Jake. Well, I guess that means I'm coming too. Mama says I gotta stay with you. This is the only thing that's a chance out there without me. Bobby, are you coming? Well, I'm all about protecting the town and all, but it sounds like a waste of time. But I don't have anything else better to do. But we're basically just going out there to get eaten up by mosquitoes and covered in mud. Come on, Bobbit. Don't be a stick in the mud. At least try to have a good attitude about it. A good attitude? What exactly do you mean by that? It's like someone doesn't have a good attitude. A good attitude is being positive in the times where it might not be so good. Thinking of the good in times where it's bad. And this doesn't have to be miserable. It's going to be an adventure, whether we find something or not, which we definitely will. Besides, the bio isn't just better mosquitoes. It's a beautiful place. This, the moss, the trees, the birds and crickets singing, the sky, uh, the water reflecting the sky and the clouds. It's a work of art made by an amazing creature. Sometimes I go out there just to think and soak it all up. All right, fine, fine, I'll come. And I'll try to have a good attitude about it. But I'm bringing all the bug spray I can. And a mud suit. Great, let's be on our way then. Is there such a thing as gator repellent? Do you happen to have any I could borrow? Uh, no, I don't think there's such a thing. Definitely not a thing. Let's here come! That's right, we had a special guest. Press the festivities. Maybe the legend is true, but I'm sure Sheriff Landry can handle it. Oh, and I think that the Freshwater Lobster Festival would have been a much better name for the festival. <laughs> The sheriff is a complicated man, so I've heard at least. I remember him being a vibrant man full of life and joy. But that was before he went away, his daughter went away. He hasn't been so since.
Who do you want to go to, Grandma or Grandpa? Wow. Okay, just how you like it. Everything. Oh, yeah, everything is going great, but it's just a song future. That thing is something else. In all my 25 years, I ain't seen anything like it. What if I can't stop it? Just last year, you stopped this too. Every game. I know, but that was different. This is different, and everything's different. Because of Avery? How am I supposed to find some creature in the swamp when I can't even track down my own dog? Ever since we closed for Mrs. Person Clay's three months ago, I've lost all hope. I've used up all my resources. No one wants to help. She wants to stay home. She made that really clear in the letter she left us the night she ran away. Well, you know, she's a smart girl. She made by the best. If she didn't want to be found, it would be mighty hard to find her. She's just looking for me in New York. She's looking in all the other places. I never meant to drive her away. Just one day, she was my little girl, and pushing her on the sled. The next, she's all grown up, and trying to tell me how life works. I never thought she'd really run away when I gave her choice. Now I'm wondering, every day, if I'd never given her that choice, would she still be here? Why would well, God allow something like this to happen? But dwelling on the past isn't going to bring her back. What we need to do now is pray. I pray every day that she will have a change of heart and turn to Jesus and know how much he loves her. That's the only way she would truly understand who she's meant to be. I that she still knows how much Jesus loves her. Well, I hope you have enough hope for the book, because I'm losing my... Choices have consequences. Well, we are not our past. We are who we choose to be today through Christ. So you can either choose to sit here and wallow in the feelings of your mistakes, or you can just stand up and be the hero your daughter has seen you as. Hey, sir, we would like to offer our services to protect our town from the swamp creature and save the festival, sir. We would like to be a part of your team, sir. Part of my team? Who says I need a team? Good point. That's exactly what I said. Quiet, oh, Bobbit. <laughs> Sheriff Landry. <coughs> sorry, sorry. Sheriff Landry, please let us come. Don't regret it. We can help. Zula, my little sister, and I know this one better than anyone. Since our dad catches mud bugs for a living, he's been taking us out on the boat ever since I was knee high to a grasshopper. We've got all the latest scan equipment, and we're all packed and ready. We've even mapped out the most likely place for a swamp tree creature to hide out. Charlie, show me your map. Oh, yeah. See? All I see is a below average middle school project. Of course. That's exactly what it is. How can we be productive members of society or whatever if we can't even help with the mission? Everyone's always telling us to help out. Why won't they let us help? You want to help? Take out the trash. I said, go mow the lawn or something. Or go home and get out of my sight. You kids better run. I think it's really sweet you're trying to help. I'm sure Harrison Landry appreciates the thought. And I, He's just got right now. Then I better not catch you out there in the swamp. It's no place for you kids. Stay in the town where it's safe. Well, you heard the man. Guess it's time to pack it up. No way. It's our duty. We can find the swamp creature before the sheriff does. I'm sure of it. And I'll have no choice until the swamp's deep. I bet. Are you still scared of the bayou? No, I done told you. There's nothing to worry about. We're professionals. Nothing to worry about? What about mosquitoes, malaria, gators, quicksand, and the swamp creature? Just to name a few off the top of my head, I'm afraid of dying. Well, I'm not afraid of death. I don't know where I'm going when I die. But well, we aren't going to die in the swamp. We can do this. Yes, the mission is still on. Sheriff and White will never find the swamp creature on their own. We need to step up. Are you guys still in? Sure, I'm in. All right, fine. I guess so. But wait, Zula, what do you mean you're not afraid of dying? I thought everyone is afraid of Jess. Well, I don't want to die, but I'm not afraid of After I die, I'm going to heaven. Heaven? That's a real place? Yup. 
It's where God lives, and it's better than any place we could ever imagine. But how do y'all know you're going to heaven? Because you said that Jesus Christ is your only savior. I don't understand. Well, do you even know about Jesus? I know he died on a cross. Yeah. Mm, that's about it. Yes, he did. Jesus is the son of God. He chose to come to earth in human form to make a way for us to know God and go to heaven. You'll see, every single person has this way to live forever in one of two places, heaven or hell. Hell is a horrible place of pain and suffering and separation from God. The people who reject Jesus will go there. The heaven is the paradise where God lives. The people who follow Jesus will go there. There's no sadness or sin there at all. Wow, our spirits live forever? Well, I want to go to heaven, but what is sin? Sin is anything that goes against God's commands. Lying, stealing, thinking bad thoughts, being selfish. Anything that disobeys God. And we all have sin in our lives. And God doesn't let sin into heaven because we're He's perfect. So we need to find a way to get rid of sin. And that's why Jesus died? Yeah. Exactly. The Bible says, for the wages of sin, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Even though we all deserve death and hell, Jesus loved us so much that he took the punishment instead. He came down to earth as a, as a baby, grew into a man, and went around healing people, teaching people, doing miracles, obeying everything that God told him to do. Jesus never sinned, not even once. He was perfect. He didn't have to die, but he loved us so much that he took the punishment instead so that we could be free. Yes, it also says in John 3, 16 through 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Wow, so Jesus didn't have to die. He died because he loves us so much. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us. He could have gotten off that cross at any moment, yet he stayed and died a horrible death because he loved us and he wanted us to be free from our sin. But he then it stated, after three days, he rose from the dead and appeared to his followers before ascending back up to heaven. Wow, he rose from the dead? Yep, and he offers the free gift of salvation to anyone who wants it. Well, I believe in Jesus, and I want to know him like you guys do. That's awesome. You can start by telling that and, let it, and letting him be the Lord of your life. Zula, do you think you would help me? Sure, would you like me to pray with you? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, dear Jesus, dear Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit that I am a sinner. But I believe that you came down to earth and died to save me from my sins. But I believe that you came down to earth and died to save me from my sins. I believe that you rose again conquering sin and death. I believe that you rose again conquering sin and death. Jesus, you are my Lord. Jesus, you are my Lord. Please come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. Please come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. My life belongs to you. My life belongs to you. Please help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Please help me to follow you for the rest of my life. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Wow, guys, this is so exciting. So what do I do now? Well, you've just taken the first step on an amazing journey. Now you'll learn how to follow God. It says, it says in Romans, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who walk in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Now that you've accepted him as your Savior and Lord, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in you, renewing your spirit and teaching you to obey all God's plans for your life. Now you learn how to follow God and get rid of anything in your life that doesn't honor him.
For the last time, it's Charlie Daigle. Who's the leader of this expedition? Me. Who's the expert on the legend of the swamp creature? Me! So quit your yakin and come on! The boat was definitely better than treasure through the slimy bog by foot. Looks like someone forgot their cream cheese and jelly this morning. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Daigle, Zul and I really are the experts on the swamp. You should have let us navigate. We could have gone a much safer way and sailed on the boat. And let the swamp creature know we're coming? No! I know what I'm doing. We gotta be getting close to the, to the first checkpoint on the bus by now, right? Um, let's see. Uh, we are... Here. Uh, no. Uh, the swamp creature's hideout is here. And where are we on the map? Um, we're... Here. Or maybe... Please? Maybe, uh, here? Well, he's gone and gotten us lost. I knew I never should have let y'all rope me into this. Uh, Ugh, I should be in town right now watching the Mud Bug Pot Pie Contest instead of trudging through this mud of mosquitoes by foot looking for some creature. Um, actually, it looks like we are here. We still have a long ways to go before we reach any checkpoint. You brought a spare map? Yup, from the boat. It's time for us to come out by this Oh, well, good thinking, Levi. Let's press on. Uh, it's now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I knew that. I was just testing you guys. What's that noise? Are you sure? I didn't hear anything. What if it's a gator? One gator won't attack a group of our size. Keep your ass good, guys. There's definitely something out there. I didn't sign up for this! Take me back, please, please, please! I just want to be back home with my mommy! Keep it together, Kato, and don't touch my paddle! You know, Bobette, whenever I get scared, I think of Isaiah 4110. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not pray, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will hold you with my righteous right hand. You're on God's side, Bobette, and he commands us to be strong and courageous. Yes, he's right. Lord. Please let us be successful on a mission by helping us find the swamp creature and saving our town. And don't let us get eaten by gators. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Deep down there in the water somewhere There's nothing to fear Stick with me and follow my lead Through the fire up here Keep the thing you should know The Lord will be with you wherever you go Deep down there in the water somewhere There's nothing to fear What if we find a gator out there Snapping at our feet I'm not done cause we ran out of turn didn't get eaten by gators. I guess I forgive you. True. It takes a lot of humility to be wrong, Charlie. What's humility? Well, it's being humble. It's the opposite of pride and arrogance. It's an attitude of the heart. When you're able to admit when you mess up and you don't take yourself too seriously, you aren't always seeking praise. The Bible says in Proverbs 4 2, I believe. But, by humility and fear of the Lord, wisdom and honor. That rewards people who are humble. I was kind of a know-it-all earlier. There's this verse that my dad quotes in Proverbs sometimes. Why at least it's grace, but with humility comes wisdom. You shouldn't have way today. Well, you guys were right about trusting in God. He protected us and used Levi and Zula's swamp skills to help. Could have ended a lot worse, that's for sure. I think we should head back to the boat and map out a couple new courses. We have a lot more places to check before we sign down. So, did anyone bring any extra snacks? I'm starting to run low, and I'm so hungry I could eat a... Charlie Bagel, I done told you you shouldn't have eaten all your snacks within the first ten minutes of this expedition. I told you it's Charlie Daigle, not ba... Bye, Bobby. Bagel does sound pretty good right now. Little cream cheese and jelly. See, I told you that was what he was missing. Well, you've got more snacks on the boat, right, Levi? No. No, I'm just kidding. I'll pack you some up on the boat. If you're open from landing, I might have half a mind to share some with you. I'm going to eat your pizza. Is that okay? You want it? Wow, there's more? This right is the biggest fire on this side of the Mississippi. All right, Wyatt, keep it down. 
I'm going to find this one, too, if you keep scaring it away. Oh, did you know this is actually my first time exploring this rock? Okay, please, quiet. Maybe if we just keep going, we'll be able to reach it before sundown. After all, it's not like this is just a dream come true. There's no lifelong things, there's no cool things, just you and me out here in the swamp. So, before you uh, get any more ideas, let's just continue the rest of this mission in silence. Wow, I'm not sure Dick wearing a What? I'm not wearing... What are you talking about? Well, something has been different. You're as cheerful as you used to be. Is everything, is everything going on? No, it's just the swamp creature is all. It's got me a bit nervous. Now let's keep moving. We've got a lot of ground to cover, you know? Yeah, but, um, Chip, you know, you've never seen like a plant. Growing up, you were a boy of courageous. She was full of life and crisp. Are you sure you don't want to talk about it? It's my daughter, Avery. Ever since we closed the case, I lost all hope. Uh, it's part of me never coming back. But that's just other part of me. Feels like maybe she's out there trying to find her way back. I just have to meet her halfway. It's silly, but maybe that's out here on the bayou. It's like I'm flying through a thousand thoughts a minute and I can't find the right one to land on. Hmm. I don't think it sounds silly at all. I believe that, that God is that you should that God is trying to lead you down the right path. Do you? Just, maybe you're right. Maybe it just isn't from Trump. But whatever it is, just focus on God. Yeah, well, I and mean, God ain't exactly on the right terms right now. He didn't lead me down the right path the first time, so what's to make it be any different this time around? Well, maybe this time you can go on your strength, on his strength instead of your own. Just a thought. Trust it a little with all your heart, and you not know, really understand it. You know, you'll rage your knowledge, and your wage and knowledge are going to be shattered at your past. That's what the Bible says in the Proverbs. Trust him. Yeah, well, maybe I'll trust him again once the swamp features apprehended, and everything's back to normal with the festival. You know, with a ton of respect, like a ton of respect, you can't just wait for things to get good to start trusting in God. You are trusting God all the time! You are trust in God! To the good, the bad, and the scary, but you are trust in God! You can count on Him! You are trust in God! To the good, the bad, and the scary, all you gotta do is change your attitude, trust and believe. All you gotta do is change your attitude, trust and believe. One more time! All you gotta do is change your attitude, trust and believe. Now don't you feel better, Sheriff? You know what? Kinda do. But let's not lose sight of the mission. You got, we got it, a sir. long ways to go before nightfall. Alright. moving all over the swamp. He helped the kids get away from the ambush of gators. He's guided the sheriff and Wyatt on their journey. All you gotta do, change your attitude, trust and believe. I love that, and it's so true. Sometimes we just need a little change in our thoughts and perspective who God is truly saying to us. It warms my heart to see other believers be so encouraging to each other, because they're really gonna need it for what happens next. So between all of you guys and me, I think everything is going to work out just fine. Trust and believe. Ugh, how much longer? These boots are really hurting my feet. What time is it? Shouldn't we be getting back before people start to worry about us? No way! We have to keep going just a couple more hours. Hours? She's right, Dago. We better start heading back. We're out of food, water, and our parents are probably wondering where we are. Don't tell me you're chicken enough to do, Montgomery. I'm not chicken enough. I'm just scared another day to leave ah. Don't do that, Zula! Wow, I think you're more afraid of the gators than I am. I'm not 
necessarily afraid. It's just... Wait, 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 wait. Aren't you captain of the Gator Wrestling Team at school? My golly, Kali. You're right. He is. Why are these Gators getting you shaking in your boots? I'm not shaking in my boots. Look, these Gators are different. Go ahead. Explain. Okay, but you cannot tell anyone. I mean, anyone. Okay. The Gators we use in competitions are wild Gators. They're tamed Gators. We rehearse for teeth with them so that they don't actually try to bite our heads off. Wow. So it's all a sham for spectacle and entertainment? I'm pretty sure it's all forms of wrestling. I can't believe my gator wrestling friend is afraid of gators. It's a good thing I'm not. Let's battle on! Okay, look. I should... Today's the right day to, you know, try to find Swamp Creature. We should go on like a Monday... Swamp Creature! There it is! Yeah, right. Oh, there's something. Ow! Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> Stop screaming and don't be wacky me with no boat paddle either. Let's have a little self-control, please. Seriously, Charlie, have some self-control. Listen to the... Ah! It talked! The, the Swamp Creature can talk? Swamp Creature? Oh, yeah. Well, I declare, I'm a person, like you guys, and of course I can talk. This is just a disguise, a camouflage, else we blend into the swamp. But how, what, were you in town yesterday during the beginning of the bug book? Oh, yeah, about that. I was. I didn't want anyone to see me, but I didn't want to miss it either. Brings back lots of memories. What do you mean? Well, I used to live in Bellstow. And I've been thinking about coming back. But I've made so many mistakes and hurt people that love me the most. I don't deserve to be accepted back there. Girl, so I've, I've been living out here figuring out what to do next. Girl, I don't know your story, but I know that God still loves you. Mistakes and all. Your past doesn't have to define you. You can let go of your sin and just ask Jesus back into your life. I know about Jesus, but that seems like a lifetime ago. I really messed up, and I've kind of been ignoring him. He's probably pretty upset with me. Well, it says in First John, if we confess our sins, he is faithful. And just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus will always take you back. And he wants you to walk and he wants you to get to know him and to walk hand in hand with him. You know, you should come back to town with us. I think God brought us together for a reason. You don't have to do this alone. Well, when are you guys heading back? Well, now that we found you, we can head back whenever. We found the swamp creature. <laughs> oh! I mean, you're not a swamp creature. But we thought you were? No offense. <laughs> None taken. Could I have a minute to think about it first? Sure. God, I need you. I'm sorry for everything I've done. What do you want me to do? Please help me. Hear me. Take my life. Something new. Show me all the things I still need to do. You light the way of illuminating my life. So all the darkest nights, I walk in faith. When I'm lost, I'll find your sound. Cause I'm Holy Spirit bound For in Christ alone I'm found I wanna run Run, run to you, Jesus I wanna live Live my life for you No matter what goes wrong Breaks my
prayed, and I've decided not to let fear control me anymore. I followed Jesus ever since I was a little girl. So I'm going to need a few tips on how to follow him again. Do so you guys have any tips on that? I would love to hear them. Well, I just decided to follow Jesus yesterday, so I'm no expert. But I think going to church is important. Yep, you need to be around other believers who can encourage and motivate one another. And you'll need to start reading your Bible. What? It's God's word to us. It shows us who he is and how we to live our lives. And as you read his, the Bible, the action of what it says. James 1.22 says, For be doers of the Lord, and not hearers of the you see for yourself. So the Bible is kind of like a map, right? It shows us the right path to take. And I mean a nice detailed map, like the one Levi brought. Not the dusty, crayon-looking one Charlie made. Hey, my mouth was important. That's one way to describe it. We can also get close to God by praying. It says in Colossians 4 2. Devote yourself to me. Watch for Thank you. Prayer is so powerful. You can talk to God about anything. Ask Him for Thank Him for things. Ask Him for help. Pray, pray for other people. Things going on in the world. He wants to hear. And the more time you spend with through prayer and reading his word, the more you can hear him guiding you. And that's how you grow a relationship with Jesus. Well, that makes sense. If you want to get to know God, you should probably spend time with him. Yep, that's exactly what you do. Everyone, get away from the creature now. Yeah, we don't want anyone to get hurt. Wait, whoa, Sheriff Andrew, please listen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You kids? I told you to stay back in the town. Looks like they decided to make fun of the swamp creature instead. I can see that, Wyatt. Sorry. Why do kids never listen to adults? Sheriff Landry, I tried to tell Charlie Bagel it was our civic duty to stay in town and watch the Mud Bug Pot Pie Contest. But no, he just had to be persistent on finding the swamp creature. Well, I was right, was I? I said you guys could find the swamp creature without us, and you did How do you know where to find us? Well, we heard a loud scream and just followed in that direction. So we got <laughs> Get out of the way, kids. The swamp creature must be apprehended for its crimes against Bella Stuff. Crimes? Wait, 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 isn't it like the top ten case ways of living or whatever that you have to, like, respect the swamp creatures or something? It's respect the swamp and the creatures in it. Get it right. Um, that's to be rude, sir, but I think this point is still developed. Levi, at this point, I think you should just keep your mouth shut. You have three seconds to move while I'm taking you in with the swamp creature. Uh, uh, Chip, remember the breathing exercises. <laughs> three, two, one. Wait, Dad, it's me. What? again. I missed it so much. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the wonderful, joyful, welcoming atmosphere. You act like we've been gone for weeks. It feels like we've been gone for weeks. You turned the torch. a whole lot better than I thought it would. Well, I said that whoever leaves the swamp and comes back, always comes back as a swamp creature. And we saw that best today. Best days of my life. I guess so. But who would guess that the swamp creature would turn out to be the sheriff's missing daughter, though? Yeah, we essentially solved the missing person's case by being a bunch of no good trouble making kids. There's gotta be some sort of there's gotta be some sort of medal for that, right? Well, I don't know about any medals, but I gotta give credit where it's due. Charlie Daigle, without your incessant need to find the swamp creature, we would never have found Avery. You did a good job leading this expedition, Charlie Daigle. It's Charlie Dick. Wait. You actually said it right this time. It's like the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Thanks, Father. Hallelujah. Uh, <sighs> Alright, y'all, let's not be little. And could you pipe down? There's a cake walk going on. 
So how about instead of flapping your lips, you go try to win a cake or something like that? I don't know. Great idea, Wyatt. Hey, that's Mr. Wyatt to you. I know there's going to be a lot of questions with you being back in town and all, but I want to let you know that I'll be right there standing with you, and I think that you're a mighty great. Thanks, Dad. To be honest, I'm a little nervous, but mostly excited. You sure Mom won't be bad at me? <laughs> your mom mad that you're back? Trust me, she'll be too overjoyed and excited that anything will be in there. I hope so. Harrison! Harrison's very far! I was so... Avery? Actually, those four kids with the dusty crayon that found her first. <laughs> those kids helped me find the courage to come back to the hotel. And then you reminded me that no matter what I've done, Jesus will take me back if I turn back to him. He died and rose again to save me from my sins. Well, praise the Lord! <laughs> oh, this is what I wore to help me collect into the swamp. I was living out there for a while and couldn't quite bring myself back. I felt ashamed. I thought I didn't even deserve to be your daughter anymore after the way I left. Oh, Avery, you'll always be my daughter. I miss you both so much. I miss you too. Avery Landry, your father and I would have welcomed you back at any moment, just like Jesus welcomes us back with open arms. And speaking of that, I've been served a big old slice of humble pie, and it's time I came running back to. Huh? I've been thinking about this all the way back. Please. Pray with me. Mm -hmm. Dear Lord, please forgive me. I've turned away from you and I've tried to do things on my own. I've sinned and I've been angry and I've ultimately been my own downfall. But I know that you died to save me from my sins. And I know that you rose again to free me from me. Jesus, you are Lord and I know that. Please be Lord of my life once again. Come into my life and help me to follow you. Amen. Amen. Not only did I get my daughter back today, I got my husband back also. Glory to God. It is my honor to announce to you that the swamp creature will be bothering this town no more. And I'd also like to welcome back to the town my daughter, Avery Landry. She has been found. for sharing God's love with me when I need to hear it the most. I'm so excited to follow Jesus again, and I'm so glad to be back home. And now, for a more serious announcement. Citizens of Bellestelle, I apologize for the way I've been behaving. My attitude and my heart have not been in the right place. But you all have been there through me. And even you, Wyatt. Thank you. And a special thanks to my wife, Eloise. She's been my constant support, and she's known just what I needed to hear, even when I didn't think I wanted to hear. Thanks to her, and thanks to all of you, I have rededicated my life to Christ. God has placed me here for a reason. That was too good. And now, now, I'm doing it on his strength, not my own. And not like a Gurchip, like a Doritos or Pringles. A big chip of sand. But I'm sure that's gone now. Thanks to Jesus. 
Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, this is just the best town revival I've seen in 25 years of being your mayor. Reminds me of Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them all I have commanded of you. For surely, I am with you to the very end of the age. The good news of Jesus is just too good to keep to ourselves. We need to share God's love everywhere. Hallelujah! The future is looking bright. My life has been made new. Jesus changed me from the inside out. And he can change you too. I used to be so lost inside. Couldn't understand But now you're filled with holy light And we're together once again I'm free, set me free Your love passed away New identities in my heart I'm free, God is out to do me God is spread the news Jesus came to say we're set apart Go and make disciples And share the love of God Thank you.